Weekly chain store sales rose 2.4% this past week, continuing that slightly positive trend begun in September. But remember, too, how retail sales really took a dive one year ago. Week to week, though, sales remained flat. ShopperTrack estimates that retail sales during this Christmas season will increase 1.6%, but that store traffic would fall by 4.2%. As a comparison, sales it measured for Christmas 2008 fell almost 6%. The American Express Publishing and Harrison Group reported that of affluent shoppers in the United States, 21% will spend less, 7% will spend more, and the rest will spend about the same as they did last year. In all, gift spending for this group with a median income of $275,000 will drop 15% from 2008. Affluence expressed the desire for quality time with loved ones to create memorable experiences rather than showing affection through gifting. The nation's largest retail industry group says spending on gifts will be down for Christmas too. NRF and Big Research surveyed about 8,000 consumers and found that, first of all, 95% will celebrate Christmas and spend accordingly. That percentage is relatively unchanged. However, 84% will spend less than 2008 as the ultimate way to cope with the recession. Only half of respondents said that a slashed price tag would attract their attention this year and only 42% said coupons would interest them. These percentages are down from last year. On gift spending, the average total fell 5% per person to $508. That is down 12% from its peak of $578 in 2007. Spending on decorations, cards, and candy and the like brings the average up to $682, or a drop of 3%. Taking a sneak peek at consumers' wish list, which I call the I want list, only 21% said I want jewelry. That's down from 25% last year. This was also the lowest reading for I want jewelry in the six-year cycle provided by NRF. Gift needs overall have been on the slide for four years, though. Clothing, books, DVDs, electronics, personal care, all of this has dropped to four-year lows for this Christmas. Those who said, I want sporting goods, was lower than last year, but on par with 2007. More consumers wanted gift cards than ever before. Now, where will everyone shop? Well, multiple places. However, percentages dropped from last year for all categories except discount stores. Seven in 10 will hit discounters. A little more than half will hit department stores. Of this group, 58% of men said they would hit department stores. 54% of women said that. Less than one-fifth will hit specialty stores, with men at 19%, women at 18%. And about 42% will shop online, with men at 43% and women at 42%. What attracts their attention? Well, surprisingly, helpful, knowledgeable customer service did not. Even the quality of merchandise barely mattered to nearly everyone in the NRF survey. 43% of all respondents said they'd be picking through sales and seeking price discounts. 37% of men and 49% of women selected this as a priority. Merchandise selection came in a rather distant second, with 21% selecting as choice. It is pretty clear why spending will drop again this fourth quarter, and more specifically why it's down overall since the recession began in December 2007. Income data from the government found that of 117 million households, the average household median income dropped almost 4% in 2008 to $50,303. Adjusted for inflation, the average income is back to where it was in 1998. There is certainly no evidence this year that the figures have changed much, if only to decrease a little more. For full-time workers, salaries for men fell 1%, and for women, they dropped 2%. However, the number of men with full-time salaries dropped 5% in 2008, and for women, it fell 3%. These numbers are likely to be higher this year. 
Here is a look at how precious metals prices fared for the past week. For all the latest industry news, be sure to check diamonds.net.